So here's the instructions for the lifetime basketball hoop. Seems to be laid out fairly well. In the beginning, it kind of goes through all the different parts and you should always verify that uh, you have everything you need. Here are the tools. And then it has all the different things that come in the box, including all the bolts, screws and nuts and washers. So basically, it looks like there's about six sections in terms of the instructions and each section has a, I believe it has a bag that's labeled with a, like a BCO, which matches up with the instruction uh, manual when it gets to the, be the hardware identifier BCO. So for section one, uh, for the pole assembly, it's looking for everything in this bag to be the hardware, along with the, basically the, the big poles. Second step is placing the pole to the base. So the pole that we just assembled in step one will now go on to the base. And it has a list of the hardware needed along with the parts. And again, the bag is nicely labeled BCQ with the hardware. Okay, so I'm going to go through some of these steps uh, back to back. Step three is the backboard to rim assembly. And step four is the backboard to pull assembly. So I'll do these, finish them up, and show you what it looks like. Alright, now the backboard is assembled to the pole. It's important that these bolts are not fully tightened yet. I guess we'll be tightening them later. So for step 5, this is the handle assembly. The handle is used to raise and lower the basketball hoop between seven and a half feet and ten feet. All right, so we're at the final assembly part. It looks like we're gonna be putting these couple pieces at the bottom of the backboard. Looks like that's for some sort of uh, added protection. I just want to show how this handle works to raise and lower the hoop. It's really simple. All you do is push down. And you can see you can raise and lower it really easy in six inch in increments from seven and a half feet to 10 feet. <laughs> 